Hello everyone, Chris here. My wife just got back from the store and uh, yeah, she told me that the shelves were just about bare. So we live in Wasilla, Alaska. There's a store just, I want to say, two to three miles down the street. Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly large grocery store and generally they're stocked with all the groceries that you could imagine. They got the frozen food aisle, the meat aisle, all that. She said, of course, paper towels, toilet paper were wiped out, the meat shelves, the meat uh, uh, cooling air was bare, right? So sounds like people are making a mad dash to the grocery store. So in one of my other videos, I mentioned that I was a little bit of a prepper, and it's moments like these that just make me giggle a little bit because I get to <laughs> put to the test some of my preparations. Now, uh, I have another video where I talk about my favorite prep, which is my wood stove, and I get to use that whether I'm preparing for the end of the world or not. But I have a fair amount of food supplies too, and uh, you know, when I, when I, years ago when I was studying the, the, the best types of foods to store long term, I ran across, it was Denny Moore beef stew, Hormel canned meat, and Crisco were identified as food items that would not degrade over time, over long periods of time. And so as you can imagine, what do I have in my uh, storage prep area? A lot of those things, right? So uh, hearing the news that the shelves were bare, I was very interested to see how, how uh, my food stores might actually hold up under a test scenario, right? So it is a moment like this that uh, it uh, compels me to test my preps. So, uh, I went down into the basement, crawl space, uh, grabbed a, a test can of Denny Moore. I didn't even really look at the various best used by dates because theoretically they don't matter. And I think a video about best used by food dates uh, might be a, another a good video to have separate from this one. But anyway, I grabbed a random can of Denny Moore. I'm going to walk you through the process, uh, show you how it turns out. I will eat some of the Denny Moore beef stew. And we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up with that and see how it goes. So hang in there. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy some old Dinty Moore beef stew with me. So here we are. This is the crawl space, as it were otherwise known as my prepper storage. You can see I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's all been there for quite a while. The, the fruit probably needs to be uh, eaten or thrown away. It does degrade a little bit. But... Uh, so I got a lot of Denny Moore, right? And this isn't this isn't even all of it. Uh, this is some of it. And I think what people sometimes forget about prepping and, and your prep stores isn't necessarily that this is all for you. Uh, every now and then I, I think, oh, here's another pile of Denny Moore and there's other piles as well. Every now and then I think about uh, buying silver coins, <clears throat> right? Uh, as a, as a, some kind of, currency that I would use in the end of the world. Uh, but the reality is, is all of this stuff that you would prep and store, it's essentially currency. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's stuff that you'd barter, you'd trade with, give to, f to friends and neighbors who are in need and hadn't prepped. So, you know, sometimes preppers get a bad name, but, you know, I look at these things as having two kinds of value, use value and trade value. You know, you could use them for trading, you could use them if you're hungry. All right. So here we have the specimen. It is our can of Dinty Moore beef stew. Let's take a look at this one. Ooh, let's see. This month is March 2020, so this was best used by March 2014, which means I probably bought it in 2012 or sometime around there. Anyway, it's old. Uh, let's check it out. It's always best to look for uh, expanded cans that look like they're blown up or bloated. This one looks good. Let's give it the test. Let's see. Popped it open. Oh, no, no rush of air. So generally they say you're going to know as soon as you open the can that it's bad. It'll, it'll have a smell. And here it is when, it's, when it is open. And Lord, ooh, I would not want to eat that. Right, that looks pretty scary. But that is what we're going to cook, and that's what we're going to eat. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, let's see. Oh, when we take it out of the can and put it in, it looks a little better. Looks like maybe week old leftovers out of the fridge. Ah, it's starting to look like something I might want to eat now. It's cooking pretty nicely. It's starting to gel up. Ooh, and here it is, bubbling, ripe, ready to go, ready to pour into a bowl. So I think uh, 
that's what we'll do. Let's put this in a bowl. Mm, and there it is. Now that's what I'm looking for. All right, that's Denny Moore beef stew. Yep, nothing else like it. So here we go. And as they say, the, the proof is always in the pudding. Or I think it's actually the proof is in the tasting of the pudding. So let's see what this pudding tastes like. But this Denny Moore tastes pretty good. My wife said it tastes a little tinny. I'm not picking up any tinny flavor. <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, it's pretty much what I'd expect, like Denny Moore just out of the can, whether it was just bought last week or wait a second. Oh, they, they, uh, uh, just kidding. It's, uh, it's fine. Well, I won't say that was delicious, but it wasn't bad, right? And I've always had, I've always enjoyed any more beef stew. The odd thing is, is I try not to eat so much red meat these days. In fact, I don't eat red meat very often, maybe once or twice a year. Um, yeah, and any more beef stew is not particularly good for you. I think if I was to look at the ingredients, it's pretty high in sodium. So, you know, a long-term concern I would have if I had to live off that stuff is just uh, my own health and well-being. But as I noted before, really, you know, uh, part of prepping isn't just for yourself, right? You're able to help others, those around you in the community. Uh, happy to say this one turned out okay. Looks like the, the used by date was at least six years old. I have no doubt that it'll last another six. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try some of my other, especially the fruit. The fruit is known to not hold up as well. So we'll test that out. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a little more confidence now in Denny Moore beef stew. You know, it never hurts to maybe add that to some of your supplies, add it to the shelf in the back of the, back of the cupboard for just, you know, that week or two that you might need it. Uh, you never know, right? And that's the whole point of prepping. I would caution you don't go overboard, right? Clearly don't, don't pick fights. Don't get into arguments with people at the shopping mall, at the shopping center as you're trying to all do the same thing. But, you know, look out for each other. Take care. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.